How's it going everyone? This is Ferris Technology and this is your Click Gear 3.5 Plus unboxing and review. I've got the charcoal black version. This does come in several other different colors as well. It comes in the charcoal black, which you see here. It comes in Arctic, which is white. It comes in silver black, which is a silver frame with black wheels. It also comes in blue, lime, and orange. So as you can see, all the colors displayed on the screen for your viewing pleasure. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna start fresh right from the box and I'm gonna unbox, show you guys how this unfolds and do a full review on it. Let's go. All right, I've got a nice knife here we're gonna to use to open up the box of the clip gear. So first thing they do have this padded sort of cardboard piece on the top so that when you cut it open you're not actually wrecking the cart inside. We'll throw that down there and we'll take the cart out. Of the box and I'm going to throw the box down over here. There we go. So it is nicely wrapped in this plastic. Um, you can cut it open if you want or in my case, just rip it open. It does emit a kind of a new smell, which I noticed. And we'll get this plastic out of the way here too. Now, you do notice there is a little bit more plastic and a little bit more cardboard that you want to take out, uh, just because you can't unfold it when you uh, leave all this stuff on. So. I'm going to unravel as much of this as I can. And uh, once you've unraveled some of the plastic, you'll notice the umbrella holder, uh, which pops out. So we'll put that down for a second. Pull out as much plastic as you can. And uh, don't forget that little cardboard piece down here which holds it together. Alright, so there we go. So we've got the cart here right now. All right, so now that we've got our Click Gear 3.5 Plus all out of the box, I'm gonna show you guys how to take it apart for the first time and set it all up. I can definitely tell you this is gonna be a little bit tricky if you've never unfolded one before, so it might take you a few times to kind of learn which thing you have to do. Um, follow along with me, and I'm gonna show you guys how to undo it. So, first things first is there's that lever right on the side right there, depending which way you're facing. So we're gonna undo this lever right there. Pretty straightforward. Next thing is you can see there's a little lever on the top right here that says pull. So you want to hang on to this handle and you wanna pull and then you're just gonna unfold it and you're actually, if you look at the front wheel there, you're just gonna let it rest down on that front wheel. So just flat on that front wheel. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna actually apply pressure with your foot on that front wheel. And then what this handle is gonna do is this handle is gonna unfold just like that. So you wanna to continue to apply that pressure on the front wheel so you can leverage that with pulling it up. So here we go, apply pressure, pull up, and you hear that click. So that click, that's that open lever locking into place on the top now. Next, you wanna just make sure you snug it, pull it apart while you're still applying that pressure on the front just so that it's fully open so that you can lock that lever that you first opened. So this is that lever right there. So you can see that. I'm just gonna lock that back into place. And we're almost done. Lastly, you wanna do is you just wanna press this front button right here. And that's just, once you press that, it's just gonna easily fold and your front wheel is gonna click into place. That's pretty much it. You're pretty much close to being done. All you're gonna do is just unfold these things right here, which your bag is gonna lock into place on. 
just like that. And now you can place your bag right into here, just like that. And lastly, I will show you as well, is this little lever right here. If you unscrew that, just a little bit, and then you can adjust which way you like it. So some people might like it lower, some people might like it farther up. You can adjust it whichever way you want. And once it's adjusted at the height that you prefer, you're just gonna screw that back and you're just gonna fold it just like that. And you're pretty much set, you're good to go once your bag's all on there. All right guys, I've got the camera in hand and we're gonna take a closer look at some of the features of the Click Gear 3.5 Plus. Now, first thing you'll notice is your handles right here and they're a little bit padded, so nice and comfortable, very easy to hold and push around. Um, the next thing, the, one of the cool main features of this is the actual brake part. So it's actually a handbrake. So that handbrake, you're just going to pull right up just like that, and that's going to lock the cart into place. When you want to get moving again, you're just going to push that down, and your cart's good to go, good to roll. So it's a very easy thing to use, very cool feature. I really, really like that feature on this one. I looked at a few different carts that had the foot brake. I wasn't a big fan of the foot brake because it's a little bit awkward to reach. The hand brake is just so much easier just to put your hand in, pull that up, lock it into place, push it down, you're good to go again. Now if we look on the top right here, you can see it's got some T holders. So you can put three T's into there, really cool. And um, on the top of this flat part area here, there's the little flap right here which you're going to put your scorecard into. There's also a little flap right here which you can put your pencil into. Um, some people might prefer just slipping their pencil right onto their scorecard. might be a little bit easier rather than fussing around putting this in there all the time. Now uh, it's got this nice little place where you can pull that up to get inside. And if we get inside right here, it's a nice little magnetic compartment so it closes very very easily it's very easy to open and inside you can see huge space in here so um, I'll actually grab my phone I've got my iPhone 6 plus so it's a bigger phone um, and you can see it fits in here no problem also it's got these little ball areas so you can put three golf balls in here no problem um, sure you're gonna guys are gonna lose quite a few golf balls so you always want to have that area handy for some golf balls close that up again um, it, I don't think it's rated as waterproof but I've heard other reviews of people say that they've played in the rain and when you play in the rain it actually keeps the inside compartment dry um, like I said it's that's up to you I wouldn't personally leave my phone inside of there when it's pouring rain I'd probably put it into my bag somewhere a little bit better more waterproofed area now on here there's these lever handle click things which you can buy a bunch of uh, click your accessories so check out online tons of different click your accessories for you to use now inside of this there's that little bag or I should say big bag it's uh, approximately 80% bigger than previously so a great area for you to throw in maybe a sandwich or extra golf balls or any other accessories and stuff that you want to put inside of there so great area to use now up top right here we'll go back and this is your umbrella holder so I'm actually gonna grab the umbrella holder and I'm going to take it apart right here so bear with me as I hold my camera in my arms and take this apart. And I want you guys to see this just because I know you guys have not seen any other videos where people actually take all this stuff apart. So inside we've got your click your instructions and then we've got the little drink holder and that drink holder can go into one of these accessory areas right here. So we can put it onto here and that can just push down and lock into place. And it's not huge, I would say. I would probably say maybe a can of beer, can of pop or something will fit in there. Um, it will probably stretch a little bit, but I wouldn't say any like normal average size water bottle might be a little bit snug in there. Um, there are other accessories in which you can get which you can put in there. And as you can see, I haven't tightened this fully, but when you push that in, you can push it right down. I'll let you guys take care of that, very self-explanatory. Um, so we've got the umbrella holder, so let's take that out. And you can see it says click gear on the side right there. And that's just going to screw right in. 
There we go. So now we've got it all screwed in. Once you put your umbrella into there, there is this little piece right here which you can wrap around your umbrella. So in windy conditions, your umbrella is not gonna fly out of this and fly away. So very, very cool, very easy to use. We'll kind of go around the cart a little bit more so you guys can see. I haven't fully unwrapped all the things on it. But on this particular one, you can see it's got click gear and it's in like a silver writing. Um, they call this one the charcoal black version and this is the 2016 version in Canada. So you can see mine says designed in Canada. Pretty cool. And I'm not sure if there's other colors elsewhere in the world, but I'm pretty sure for 2016, this is the standard color for it. And there's a number of other different colors which I've gone over previously. All right guys, now that you've finished your round and you've shot that awesome score, I'm gonna show you guys how to fold this baby back up, make it nice and snug, and you can put it back in your vehicle. So first thing you wanna do is untake this umbrella holder, and it actually does fit right in onto this little compartment right here. So with some pressure, it just clicks right into there. So it keeps nice and safe. Now, the first thing you wanna do as well is you want to push the little button and fold that wheel down. Keep that wheel down just like that. Next, you wanna place your foot on it, keep that pressure just like we did before when we opened it up. And you're actually gonna pull that little lever that's on the side of it, just up, just like that. Now, fold these in as well, just to keep them nice and safe in there. You might wanna do that before, but that's okay. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull this handle, and this whole thing's just gonna close right into there. So we're gonna pull this, and as we're going down, there's that little push lever um, that we used before as well. You're just gonna push that down so that this portion comes down. So it's just gonna go like that, and it's just gonna fold down, and then this is gonna click down on the back right there. We'll pull it back up, and then there's that little lever here that you're gonna lock, just like that. We'll do it again. All right, one more time really quick. Push the button, fold the wheel. Foot on there, pull this brake little lever in the middle here, grab this side, pull it all the way up, halfway through, push the push button so this handle comes back, click, pick it up, pull this lever down, into place, boom, good to go. There you have it guys, that's your Click Gear 3.5 Plus push cart and any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And any feedback for this video, throw me a like as well if you haven't already. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.